When building integrations between different applications, many fields need changes to meet the destination system or the vendor specifications. The Map Function Library offers ways to apply conversion logic to fields being mapped. This includes use cases where information is not present in the data source, allowing us to query it on the fly. There are two main function types. Standard functions, which do a single task, such as converting a string to uppercase. User-defined functions enable complex changes by allowing you to link multiple standard functions together to save as a reusable standalone function. We'll discuss the user-defined functions in our Developer One class. So let's go ahead and populate the create date field in our destination profile with the built-in get current date function. Now watch as I use this function in our map. This is also going to be in your book on exercise number 14, add get current date map function. This is in your book on page 47 to 49. In our map account XML to CSV, we have in the center section the ability to add functions. I'm going to click on the add function to map. We have a number of user defined, string, numeric, date, lookup, connector, custom scripting, or properties. We're going to be going with date as our category. We have two types of dates available to us. One is called a date format and the other is called a get current date. We're going to be using the get current date function. The function is placed in the center section. You can move it anywhere you want, up and down. However, you cannot move it into either one of the profile sections. We are going to add an additional field to the account CSV. I'm going to click on Elements, and we're going to add one element, which is the first item. I'm going to come down here, and we want to change this from New Flat File Element to Current Date. Notice as I change it up here, it is reflected down here. Now I'm going to click on the save and close. It created the field. Now what we're going to do is manually map the result of the get current date over to the current date field. Save and close. And now our map is complete. This concludes our map function video, but please complete exercise number 14, the add get current date map function, before you move on to our next video.